time series 42 20 and three and coach Jabberco is two and two in his career against Doan. Both of these teams, five and four, winning records on the season. Handoff up the middle. Francie Wynn will take it. The Bulldogs will stuff it right there. Maybe a yard gain. And that'll bring up second down and nine. Yeah, great that was job. actually LJ Butler on the carry. Great job by the D-line filling the gaps and the linebackers stepping up and filling the holes too and stopping the ball for short game. Call it second and nine. Yep. Peyton Mitchell starting at safety for Gabe Nicely today as Butler will get the handoff again. Try to get on the left side of the line and we'll get stopped there. At about three or four Bulldogs coming out of the pile. Cadron Cox, one of them. Jorge Ochoa, another. And that'll bring up a third down and seven after a gain of one on the play. And we'll see what Doan brings out here on third down. Big, big third down here for the defense. Keep the, you know, keep, keep the offense back on the field. That's what we want to do. So hopefully we can hold them here. Martinez in the shotgun. Three wide outs to the right. Ball in the near hash mark. He's going to throw quick in the flat to the right, setting up a screen, and it's going to get stopped there on the far side. Pass was complete to Celestine. Gain of about five, but not enough for the first down. It'll be fourth down and three, and don't. will punt. Isaiah Connor, great job coming off the block on that re receiver screen and, and making the tackle uh, and not letting them get the first down to bring out the punt team from the fourth and three here. So hopefully we can get a return here and get some positive yardage and get some good field position again. And now Carson Core back to punt, or back to return the punt. It is Mason Krause to boot it away. Bounces at the 42. We'll take another couple of bounces to the 34, which is where the Bulldogs will take it back over. We got 17 to go in the quarter. We got a flag down near the 20 yard line where Krause punted it. It's, I believe he tried to jump the blocker and I don't, I think that's an illegal thing to do. Trying to go up and over. So they might be, uh, Let's see what they have to say yeah. about it here. Here's the call from the official. Personal foul. Defense, number 43, beep beep. 50 yard penalty, automatic first down. That's a killer penalty right there for the Bulldogs. A personal foul penalty, 15 yards, and Doan, instead of Concordia having it at their own 34 after the punt, Doan's gonna have it back at the Bulldog 42, first down and 10. Yeah. Coach Tabaco is trying to plead his case that he was pushed up and over, but yeah. he was going for the block, and that's hard instinct to do to not want to jump. And when you jump and you get pushed up over the block, uh, it's going to cause the penalty. And uh, uh, unfortunately, 15 yards on a fourth down play. The mistakes you definitely don't want to make for the Bulldogs. So Martinez and the Tigers back out there, first down and 10 for Doan at the Bulldog 42. Martinez in the gun, now throw near side. Quick throw, and that's caught. Out there, gain of a couple by Wasserman. And that'll bring up a second down and eight. Yeah, good, good gang tackle there. Ochoa, Napier, just a bunch of linebackers. Ochoa, one of the stop. On the stop there for the Bulldogs. Second down and seven here at the 45. 20 seconds on the play clock. Doan is trying to keep clock here, not really in a hurry. Bulldogs, they like to go a little more up-tempo. Doan hasn't been that way early on. They'll snap it with nine on the play clock, and then some pressure. Martinez gets away from it, and now will launch a throw downfield, and it's caught there at the 50, just past the 50 to the 49. And again, a six on second and seven. It'll maybe be a yard short, third down and one. But the Bulldogs brought some pressure there, just was not enough. Jaden Brocious, a sophomore from North Platte, almost there on a sack. Martinez did a good job getting away. Yeah, very good job of getting away. D-line D needs to do a better job of getting to the quarterback, and then when he do get to the quarterback, wrap him up so he makes a bad decision. But fortunately for Dwayne, they made a good uh, play here. And uh, 
uh, so timeout on the field. Third down and one timeout here called by the Bulldogs. That is their second timeout. So 7.16 to go in the first quarter. Coach Daberko calling two timeouts. And they're going to, Doan is going to have a third down and one at the 49 yard line. When we come back in 30 seconds, stick around. You're listening to Bulldog Football on Max Country. Down and one from the 49-yard line. Concordia coming out of their second timeout here of this game with 7.16 to go in the opening quarter. Still scoreless here in this rivalry game between the Doan Tigers and the Concordia Bulldogs. Senior day for Concordia, and it'll be a bunch set here on third down and one. Everybody in the box at the 49. Snap back and a handoff here to Butler, it looked like. Needed a yard, and I think he may have got it to the 48. No signal yet. Are they saying short? Or are they, yeah, they're going to give it to him. First down. Needed that yard, and he got it. And so a new set of downs here for Don't. A favorable spot. So, yeah. Concordia coach is not happy with that spot, but unfortunately for Doan, it's first and 10, new set of downs here. So need to regroup here and, and step up and play, make some plays on defense. Martinez will get the snap back to throw, gives it to the near side, and the pass is caught there by Celestine. That's his third grab of the game. He'll pick up six on it at the 42. And second down and four, Cam Baker forcing him out of bounds. A wide receiver screen to the left side. Good job of getting off your block and making the play. Keeping the short game to six. And Martinez in the shotgun. Two receivers on each side. Ball in the left hash mark. Great crowd here at Bulldog Stadium. Perfect day in the first week of November. On second and four, they'll hand it off here to the running back, running right up the middle of the field. He'll get past the 40 to the 39, 38-yard line. That's what he needed for the first down. And once again, that's L.J. Butler, guy who has 93 rushing attempts before this game going into, the seat, uh, into this one. Three touchdowns, two fumbles on the year, and 397 yards, now nearing 100 carries on the year. And he's still back there in the backfield and the shotgun with Frazzy Wynn or excuse me, with uh, Martinez, Von Martinez. Frazzy win the starting running back. Saw him for one carry on the first carry of the game for Doan. Handoff again to Butler, running up the middle, going to be stuffed right there by the line of the Bulldogs. Maybe picks up a half yard, and that'll bring up second down and nine. Yeah, ran right into his uh, O-lineman yeah. there and then uh, just kind of stopped, uh, but uh, did a great job of keeping the game to a one-yard game, so bringing up the second and long, second and nine here for the Bulldogs on defense. Both of these teams, Ross, they don't give a whole lot up on the run. Doan averages about 83 yards uh, rush defense on the season. The Bulldogs about 120. So some good run defenses here for both teams. Here's Vaughn Martinez on second and nine. Back to throw. Was under some pressure there. Ball's on the ground, but there's a flag down as well. A lot going on here on this play. Second down and nine. Yeah, we had pressure on the re quarterback. We got, it looks like maybe a holding on the O-line and yeah. then a fumble on the receivers. Uh, legal man downfield, maybe? Jeremiah Payne caught the ball. Uh, we'll wait to see what the officials tell us. An eligible receiver downfield. Offense, number 72. Five-year family. second down. An eligible receiver called on Doan, so that'll back him up. 
it must have been no uh, fumble on the play then either. Or they recovered it. I yeah, think, okay, first. they recovered it themselves. So second down and 16 coming up here from the 44. On the Bulldogs side of the field with Martinez in the shotgun. We'll throw near side, quick pass there to the numbers. And that one is caught. There by number 23, Jeremiah Payne, 14 catches on the year for him. And three touchdowns on the season. Coming up now, third down. And another opportunity for the Bulldogs to get Doan off the field. Although it could be two down territory with the ball here on the Doan's plus side of the territory at the Bulldog 37. Third and nine, and Martinez back to throw. Under pressure, and he's gonna go down for a sack. Flags are flying though back there. Couple of Bulldogs there might get a half sack. I see uh, Peyton Stevens coming out. Cavillac, they're gonna give it to him from the PA, but. Maybe got face mask maybe? Yeah, we'll see what the flag is. Holding. Holding. No. Uh, I'm declined. An obvious fourth decline down. right there. That'll bring up a fourth down and 12, a sack of three yards. There for the defensive end, Cavillac now with four tackles, or four sacks rather, on the season. Fourth and 11 from the 40. This is probably too much for Doan to try to go for. So Carson Core will go back to return the punt. He's standing at the 10. And Krause, who averages about 33 yards per punt, will boot it away. This one looking deep. It bounces at the five, bounces at the seven, actually, and gets to the five. That's a good punt. There from Krause. And that's where the Bulldogs will take over inside their own 10-yard line. Yeah, good punt. Just dropped it within the, like you, like you said, the four or five yard line and took a, a bounce back and to the seven and don't jumped on it. So long, a lot of feel for a Concordia offense right here. So yep. hopefully we can get a drive and maybe a big play or two. 3.48 left to go in the opening quarter. Still scoreless between Concordia and Doan here at Bulldog Stadium in Seward, Nebraska. McGarvey in the shotgun with three receivers to the near side. Ball at the eight yard line. And a handoff here to Jonah Wyan, the running back. He's running left side, nearly snuck through another line of defense. He'll pick up the first down, a gain of about 14 for Jonah Wyan as he gets out to the 22. Concordia going quick here. Yep. And in the shotgun, they'll hand it off to Wyan again. We'll run it up the middle and this time pick up about four. He'll get to the 25. Uh, so we'll say three, second down and seven. Three yard gain on the play, second down and seven. And Jonah Wyand here up to eight rushes on the day, over 40 yards. Actually, seven rushes, 40 yards exactly right now for Wyand. Oh. McGarvey on second down, throw it up the middle, and he had an open Garrett Chart. I think threw it behind him, though. Threw it behind his tight end, so incomplete. That'll bring up third down and six. Yeah, last couple passes, he went back to Chart. Just, he had him open, just, just missing that connection right now, so he needed to do a better job of just having, taking a deep breath, relaxing, and, fire, and yep. throwing the ball. 3.05 to go in the quarter. McGarvey back to throw. Again, finds Sharp and misses him. He had Sharp again. And this time misses low. Incomplete. And that'll bring up fourth down. I think had Sharp have caught that, he might have been about a yard short, but uh, would have made a fourth and one. Instead, it's going to be fourth and six. And the Bulldogs will bring their punt team back out. Yeah, definitely a pass you want back on that series, you know, going three and out. Or no, we got a first down on that, but uh, but uh, only only driving about 10, 15 yards. We want to do a better job of sustaining longer drives. So it is Carl Colmus back to punt. Line drive punt as a Dome Tiger was coming off the edge to try to block it. That's going to continue to roll inside the 25, getting close to the 20. And Karel Kolmus pretty much switches ends of the field. 
He punted that one from about his 15 yard line all the way to the other 20. So do the math there. Well, 20. Yeah, I'm not going to try it. You 50 do 50 yards. <laughs> there well, you go. 24 to the 50 plus 20. Well, call it. What are they at? The 20? Not longer than that. Sounds right. Scoreboard says 24, so. Give it a 54 yard kick. Yep. I'll take your word for it. First down and 10 here for the Tigers and Martinez in the shotgun. He's got a running back to his right. I think that's Wynn. That's Frassy Wynn getting the carry. Wynn, he's loose past midfield. Wynn to the 40. Big run there for Doan. All the way to the Bulldog 39 yard line. And a gain of about, you can do this math, 36 maybe on that first down carry. Well, 20 to the, yeah, th call it 41. Yeah. Either way, big gain. Big, big play. With first them. down and 10 Doan here on the right hash. And now Martinez in the gun. They open up downfield and the pass complete inside the 20. That's Andre Norman with his 10th catch of the year, getting down to the 16 yard, 17 yard line. Gain of 21, 22 there on the pass play. Just over two minutes to go in the quarter and Doan with two plays already down in the red zone. Doan going quick now, trying to get the momentum on their side here. Wynn gets the handoff, runs up the right side. And again, a good gain on first down. We'll pick up about four. And Napier again on the stop. That'll bring up a second down and six. Kind of a kind of hard to see in the backfield at only five foot six behind his big old lineman. So we got to make sure he can't keep track of him when he comes to the line and not give up those big plays when he comes through the line. Pistol here for Doan. And this time when we'll get a handoff, try to bounce to the outside. He's met first there by number eight, Jorge Ochoa. And then I think that was Peyton or Cam Baker coming in to make the stop right at the end by the shoelace. That'll bring up a third down and six. So no gain on the play at Doan here at the Bulldog 13. Yeah, great play of stepping up and making the contact in the backfield and keeping it to a minimum game. Three wide outs to the right. Ball on the left hash mark as Martinez gets the snap. We'll throw it here in the flat to win. Win getting past the first down line inside the five and down to the four or so here on third and six. You give it up to that running back, Frazzy Win, in open space, and he'll make some moves, and that's what he did there. Yeah, I was able to get around Napier and to get to the first down, bringing up for, uh, first and goal from the five-yard line. So four in the backfield with Martinez under center and he'll hand it off to Wen, who's gonna run along the right side and won't get anything on first and goal. Second down now with 20 seconds to go in the quarter. That could have been the last play. Crazy win, the ball carrier, Jorge Ochoa making the tackle. No gain on the play. Yeah, Ochoa, they're they're just down. gonna let it run out. Nine, yeah. eight, seven. Well, scoreless after the first quarter, Concordia zero, Tigers zero. And Doan though driving inside the Bulldog 10 yard line. And that's where we'll have it when we come back next. You're on 104.9 Max Country and the Concordia Sports Network. Concordia scoreless after the first quarter. Doan though will have it second down and goal at the five yard line. Doan had 111 yards total offense in that first quarter, 53 yards rushing, 53 yards passing. Pretty balanced for the Tigers. The Bulldogs, 43 total yards with 40 yards rushing from Jonah Wyand and then three yards passing. DJ McGarvey, two for six in that first quarter. So snap back here, Wildcat, they give it to Wynn. Gets the snap, direct snap, it runs on along the far side of the end zone and in there for the touchdown. Interesting trick play there from the Tigers that gets the first points of the game. Yeah, just a handoff to the left side and just strung it out to the far corner of the end zone and was able to get the, the in for six points. And now it'll be Jeremy Hitting to kick it 
away for the extra point. He's 12 of 14 extra points on the year and will make that one. So now seven to zero, Doan on top. And the first play of the second quarter, we'll keep it right here on 104.9 Max Country and the Concordia Sports Network. Doan goes down the field and, and scores right away. Now it's up to the Bulldogs here to answer. DJ McGarvey and his offense will go back out there. Just two for six to start this game. What have you noticed so far, Ross, from the way the Bulldogs have began? Jonah Wyan certainly getting the, the numbers there in that first quarter, 40 yards rushing, but uh, Doan kind of had a lot of time to possession there in that quarter as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, 10 minutes to yeah, almost 11, almost 11 minutes, I think, 10 and a half to four and a half. So, uh, yeah, we need to do a better job of sustaining longer drives. Yep. Uh, and I think, you know, first half, DJ was only two for six. And, and and we just with that being that two yard loss we talked about to Caden, um, you know, on that 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 reverse pitch, whatever right. you want to call it. Um, but since it was a forward shovel pass, you call it, I guess. Uh, we, having confidence too. I mean, he's missed a lot of you know he's missed Jared twice on a couple big plays. So just needs to just you know settle down. First couple series jitterbugs. Get get back in the rhythm here. Isaiah Connor and Cole Moose back to return the punt. And they let it bounce into the end zone for a touchback. Yes. And then Cole Moose is pointed flashing at, pointing it to his face mask, probably couldn't see the ball, staring right into the sun. That's what it looked like anyway. Yeah, pointed to the sun when yeah. he let it go through. It must have went right through the through the shadow there or yep. whatever your eclipse or whatever you want to call it. But. So first down and 10 for the Bulldogs at the 25. They trail by seven with 14.54 left to go in the second quarter. DJ McGarvey in the shotgun. Two wideouts on both sides. He sends a man in motion. And we'll get the snap handoff here to Devin Ziegler, the running back running along the left side of the line. He'll bounce forward for a gain of two. And that'll bring up second down and eight. Yeah, doing a good job of getting positive yards, but I mean, instead of two yard gains, we need those three or four yard right. gains. Your chart lined up on the left side of the line. McGarvey in the gun. Fake handoff here to Ziegler. Now McGarvey thrown up middle of the field and tended for Colmus. Double covered. He would have caught it at midfield, but it's incomplete. And that'll bring up the third down and eight for the Bulldogs, standing here at their own 27. Yeah, kind of a dangerous pass there, but Colmus did a good job of going up and becoming a receiver slash defender on that, being double teamed, and actually then almost got to, tipped it into himself and almost came down with the play. Art Anderson, the receiver, lined up far to the right. Cole Moose and Shard in the slot to the right. And then now Barron, they're going to throw it to him on the near side. Barron comes up with the grab. Did he catch it at midfield? He did. What a grab. Caden Barron has made many of those impressive catches this season. And the Bulldogs will have it first down and 10, actually at the 49-yard line. Yeah, great one-on-one -on -one route, fade route down the field, staying in bounds, throwing it over the shoulder, kind of the one place where he could catch it right before the safety comes over and just knocked him out of bounds and uh, a big gain on third down to keep the drive going. Exactly what the Bulldogs needed. Garvey in the shotgun again. Devontae Mouton in the game. Behind the line of scrimmage on the right side. McGarvey in the gun will throw it now to the far side of the field. Cole Moose had it and dropped it incomplete. And that'll bring up second down and 10. A rare drop or tip from the, from the Cole Moose, whether he dropped it or it was tipped out of his hands, but... Uh, regardless, an incomplete pass, bringing up the second and ten. Our chart, tight end on the left side, two wide receivers, Cole Moose and Barron. On the far side, Nart Anderson, the receiver to the near side. Ball on the near side, hash mark, and at the 49-yard line. McGarvey will hand it off to Wyant, who just checked back in. And he'll run it up the middle, get past the midfield line, and to the other 49, maybe gets two on that second down and long play 
And that will bring up a third down and about seven from the 49, third down and eight from the 49. They'll need the 41 for the first down. Yeah, just a dive play right up to the right side. Just ran into his O-lineman trying to get through the block, but uh, was able to gain two yards. Garvey in the gun, Wyan to his right, back to throw is McGarvey, near side throw, Cole Moose there, and makes the grab at the 15. Wow. Was that one-handed? It was. It's unreal. Corral Cole Moose gets it down to the 17-yard line, one-on-one -on -one coverage again, and McGarvey just threw a gem the out there. Ball was tied up with his right hand, and he caught it with his left hand. Garvey back to throw, nearly has it picked off over the corner's hands. That's who had the best chance to grab it. There was Cedric Gooch Jr. incomplete. It looked like he was trying to get that back to Cole Moose. Uh, miscommunication, yeah. whether Art Anderson was supposed to keep running the fade or if uh, Cole Moose was supposed to run to the corner. But regardless, it, uh, the t defender actually made a play on it, but was able to only get fingertips on it, but incomplete pass, bringing up second and 10. McGarvey in the gun, handoff here to Jonah Wyand, running along the right side, Wyand, one man to get into the end zone, touchdown, Jonah Wyand from 17 yards out. He had two touchdowns last year when this team played Doan and route to the win. He gets his first one here today, his second one of the season, and the Bulldogs an extra point away from tying it up. Great answer to the Doan drive, coming back of their driver their own, taking it down the field and getting some positive yardage. Two huge third down pass plays as well. McGarvey, first one to Caden Barron, and the second one to Carell Colmus on third and long. And having that confidence given back too, I mean, having faith in your receivers to come down with the ball, that's exactly what he's doing with having Caden Cox and the Colmus. Big plays by those two receivers, and then Jonah following it up with a touchdown run, making some shifty moves, finding his way, keeping his balance, and getting into the end zone. And Daniel Cantu makes the extra point to make it a 7-7 seven -seven game with 12.29 left to go in the second quarter. We'll be right back. This is Bulldog Football on Max Country. Finding the right school for your student 30? and your family yep. is essential for lifelong success. Consider Lincoln Lutheran Middle and High School in Lincoln, Nebraska. Lincoln Lutheran strives to help middle and high school students grow in mind, body, and spirit. Okay, your good. child will second quarter Bulldogs just got into the end zone after a 17-yard touchdown run by Jonah Lyon the senior running back from Crete Nebraska a lot of seniors here on this team many of them including Jonah have the option for an extra year of eligibility but they still honor all the seniors here before the game Jonah was only a sophomore. Well, he? he's 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 got I think two years of age. He's a senior technically. It's 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 confusing. We have to go ask Jake Canabel over there, uh, the SID, because there's a lot of extra years and redshirt years and all of that stuff. Yeah, you got. Uh, but he's he's got his eligibility technically. But we'll see. I mean, a lot of these guys again have the option to return as Concordia will kick it off. It was kind of one of those. Swip Pooch kicks. kicks, yeah, squib kicks. And it will go down here at about the 20, or rather the 34-yard line. So 12 and a half to go in the second quarter. And Martinez and the Doan offense back out here. First down and 10. They scored with Frazee Wynn. Five-yard touchdown run right at the first play of the second quarter. Now they have it back with 12 and a half to go, and they'll hand this one off to L.J. Butler. And he's trying to run along the right side. Looked like Ochoa came in there on the stop. Or Campbell, rather. Campbell there on the stop for the Bulldogs. No gain, second down and 10. Yeah, he did a good job of meeting him in the backfield and then hanging on to his feet or jersey. And then someone came up, one of his teammates came up to kind of finish it off. But yeah, credit Shane Campbell for the first contact, taking him back. For a no game. 
Martinez in the gun again with LJ Butler in the backfield. We'll send one wide receiver in motion and we'll hand this one off to Butler who will run it right up the middle. One stop made by and Cadron Cox made a shoelace tackle and then a couple of Bulldogs converged on Butler after he gained four yards. Coming up third down and six from the 43. Yeah, exactly, four yard gain, third and six. Big third down play here for the defense. Shut this down, get the offense back on the field. Big play here, so let's see what the defense can do here to, just to prevent or, for, or get to the fourth down here. Shotgun on third and six as Martinez goes back to throw. Up the middle of the field, nearly intercepted by the Bulldogs. That'll bring up a fourth down. Oof. Right there, Jorge Ochoa could have got his first interception of the year. He just batted it down. Maybe it was a little far away from the body, but incomplete. Fourth down and six. Well, it looked like he just tried to do one-handed it. And yeah. It clearly had, well, if he just put two hands on the ball, it's going to make a play. And But... I see, look at Devin Smith down there and, and Jorge Ochoa, uh, Concordia Athletic Director Devin Smith having a conversation with Ochoa. It's a good play by the Bulldog defense making the stop. Yeah. Fourth down and six. And back to punt is Krause. Give it up here to Carson Coro, fields it at the 20, goes backwards and will get stopped at about the 17. So the Bulldogs will probably lose about five yards on the punt return. They'll have it inside their own 20. He did a good job of keeping his feet after him trying to make the first guy miss, but the second and third guy wasn't able to get around, but credit him to catching the ball and not letting it go for any further. But still inside the 20, so nice long drive, a lot of field for Concordia again this drive. So let's see if they can keep the momentum going here on offense and making some pass plays, throwing in some runs, and let's see what they can do. McGarvey in the shotgun. Two receivers on the near side, ball in the near hash mark, and Jonah Wyand in the backfield. Hand off Wyand, shakes one tackle, gets upfield here to about the 25-yard line. Pick up about seven there on first down and 10. That'll bring up second down and three, and Wyand having a great game here so far. Yeah, positive yardage every time he touches the ball so far, I think, so just keeping the ball moving forward and moving, getting good, good gains on those first, first and second downs. Wyand up to 10 carries, 66 yards, and a touchdown. And he gets a handoff again. This time won't get much, maybe a yard. And that'll bring up third down and short. Third and two from the 27. Concordia lining up pretty quick here. Still in that open formation, twins to the left. Art Anderson open on the right. And McGarvey in the gun. He's looking now toward downfield and tries to pass in the flat and a good pop there by a Doan Tiger there to make a stop. It's like right there it was uh, number one Mason Krause right there who kind of just stopped. The Bulldog who completed that pass. No gain on the play and it's fourth and two. Yeah, they, they just ran a kind of a crossing pass route on both sides and miscommunication. They almost ran into each other and then uh, when they did that, it, took him inside of the first down marker. So when he caught it, he didn't gain the yards and, and go from there. So Cade Wiseman is going to be the punt returner for Doan. He, of course, is a defensive back from Sutton, Nebraska. And a timeout here will be called by the Bulldogs with 9.24 left to go in the second quarter. Bulldogs have no timeouts remaining. Doan has all three of theirs remaining. We'll take a short break as well. Back in 30 seconds on 104.9 Max Country and the Concordia Sports Network. Oak Prairie Nursery. With over 40 years of experience, we can provide expertise and the best selection from an extensive variety of trees. Find us online at oakprairienursery.com. Oak Prairie Nursery, a proud sponsor of the Concordia University Athletics. Nemaha Sports Landscape Construction in Lincoln specializes in building both synthetic turf and sod fields and has expertise in hardscapes, urban revitalization, parks and, and recreation improvements, and environmental erosion control. Nemaha Sports is a big backer of Concordia Athletics. Timeout Concordia before they punt this one away. Fourth down and two, and Colmos catches the punt. Another line drive punt. That will be fielded here by Cade Wiseman. Wiseman catches it at the 40. Now running up past midfield to about the 42-yard line. 
Good return there by Doan. They get into Concordia territory on the punt return up about 20 yards. And it's first down and 10 coming up for the Tigers. Yeah, line drive kick. Uh, didn't give enough air on it to let his, his return team get down on the field. So need to put a little more air on that punt. Good return by Doan, bringing it back to the 40-yard line. Good field position. Best, probably the best one of yeah. the game so far, right? Yep. So best starting field position for sure for Doan. First down and 10 with Martinez in the shotgun. Crazy win to his left. Three wideouts to the left side of the line. Ball in the right hash mark. And the snap here goes to Martinez. Tries to pass there on the far side. It's incomplete. Bobbled kick. Like he tried to get it there to Jeremiah Payne. Yeah, bobbled it. So second down and 10. It was Mitchell there on the coverage for Concordia. Mitchell coming off his three interceptions. GPAC defensive player of the week after the Midland game two weeks ago. Mitchell, a guy who's been injured here and now this season. And Coach Daberko said most guys in his position, if they had the injury he had, they wouldn't be playing right now. Mitchell came out and had those three picks and just made a nice play there on first down. Now the second down and 10 play. An attempted throw on the left side of the field toward the numbers over there. It was incomplete. Now third down and 10 coming up from the 40. Yeah, just threw behind his receiver on that one. Incomplete. Third, like you said, third and 10 here. Big play for the Concordia defense right here. Third down conversion. Martinez in the shotgun. Back to throw. This one picked off. Lane Napier with the interception at the 35-yard line. Napier picks up his first interception of the year. <laughs> Pretty cool there for the senior, just honored here on senior day. Now an interception. Just kind of what Concordia needed. Yeah, absolutely. So let's let's see if uh, Concordia answers back with a big uh, a shot down the field here, or if they just like, uh, say, hey, we're going to take this nine minutes and we're going to drive down here and put some points on the board. Yeah, 8.57 to go in the quarter. Three wideouts on the right side for the Bulldogs. That is Cole Moose, Anderson, and Shard. And he's got Barron now on the near side, trying to pass in the flat. Barron was getting, oh, Barron was falling down as he tried to catch the ball. Kind of stood up, put his hands up in the air toward the officials, and then they threw the flag. So I don't know, maybe he sold that pretty well, but I think they're going to end up calling defensive pass interference. Yeah, kind of a, he ran that. It was that. a late flag, that's for sure. Well, it yeah. took, took him a while to get it yeah. out of their pocket. Yeah, maybe that's it. But uh, yeah, they, they, they both knew it, back judge threw it. And then the uh, side judge also threw it, so. Pass interference, defense, Just jumped, jumped, jumped the route a little bit too yeah. much and made a little contact before the ball got there and credit Caden for almost coming down with the pass as well, but uh, get a good job of uh, uh, selling that too when he did get up, but he didn't really need to. They no. had the flags coming from both directions. So it is first down and 10 Bulldogs at the 47 yard line, their own 47. Pistol set here for McGarvey with Anderson, the lone receiver to the near side, Barron and Colnos on the far side. And Garrett Sharp, the tight end on the left side of the line. He'll hand it off to Wyand, Wyand running right, and will get wrapped up in the backfield, loss of a couple there on the play. A couple Tigers there on the stop as well. Yeah, I think my Mason Krause led that stop. That's the first negative Tackle for loss for, on, for Jonah, I think. Moving the wrong way on that one. Right. But uh, need to do a better job up front, hitting the hole. O-line, D-line's having a good battle right now. Second and 13, ball at the 44. McGarvey going back to throw, gets out of the pocket, then tries to pick up a couple of yards running toward the Doan sideline. He's going to get stopped, maybe ahead of the line by a yard. Mason Krause again on the stop. And third down and 12 coming up for the Bulldogs. Yeah, didn't get much of anything there, but uh, did a good job of uh, getting out of the pocket when it collapsed and not making a bad decision downfield. Call it a coverage sack, if you will. So, 
Jackson Cordy needs to be very careful here. They don't have any timeouts left in the half, or the half, so can't do anything wrong personnel-wise. Trips to the near side, lone wide receiver to the right, ball in the right hash mark. As McGarvey in the gun, looking toward those three, and he's gonna throw this one out to the 50 on third down, and the pass is caught there by Corral Colmoose. Gain of about four onto the Doan side of the field, but fourth down and about seven left. Yeah. Need to be a little bit further yeah. to be four down territory here, but just on the 49 yard line, we'll just play the field position game here and try to pin him deep here. Not much of a breeze, so I no. shouldn't have to contend with the wind or anything. Perfect November day. For football, Cole Moose will put it on the tee. Not on the tee, put it on well, it, the tee, meaning I guess his foot, and it just bounces into the end zone for the touchback. Cole Moose almost sniped that one pretty well. If it would have bounced at about the four, it could have stopped right at the one or inside the one. Yeah, need so, to do a better job of angling it out yeah. of bounds or putting more air on it. To, uh, regardless, the ball comes back out to the 20, so uh, first down for the... Doan Tigers here, so defense need to yeah. do a good job of get another three and out maybe here. Yep. I was going to mention, Ross, temperatures in the 60s today. We were talking a little pregame. You were like, it's kind of unfortunate it's not, you know, a vintage November day freezing. I mean, it, it feels like it's the middle of September yeah. out here. A gorgeous, gorgeous day. Gorgeous crowd, too. Yeah. I mean, nice you, crowd. You got the stands are full on mm. both sides. Doan traveled well. Concordia's got a Decent crowd here. People standing. Yep. Enjoying the nice day. So, on that first down play, Wynn got a carry and ran it a yard. That'll bring up sec second down and nine from the 26. 21, rather. And another handoff up the middle. Stopped by the Bulldogs for little to no gain. Win again on the carry. It was Raider there on the stop. He gets a good ovation from his fan group right in front of us. And yeah, bringing up a big third down play yep. here. So Concordia defense needs to step up and bring the third down conversion. Hold them here. They need though at the 30. So yeah, third down and about six overloading the trips uh, for four receivers yeah three on the right and a throw here quickly to win in the flat it's incomplete to his knees as martinez misses on that throw and that will bring up a fourth down and eight and the bulldogs force another dome punt yeah just receive our running back screen that they set up with that that trips open set that they have and then threw it to the running back and just flat out yeah. just kind of a low pass drop the ball for an incomplete bring up the fourth down here so you got course carson core now back to punt or back to return the punt with krause punting and core will catch it here at the 35 running backwards now he's got some open room he's got blockers downfield too as he gets to the 45 to the 50 and then Doan gets around him, flagged down on the field, but a pretty solid return there by Carson Core. We'll have to see what the flag is. Yeah, almost looked like he I, called for a fair catch, but maybe he didn't. That's, yeah, that was that's not what I thought too. I, he kind of did a wave and then uh, took it off and kept running. I was a little but the caught flag, by that too. The flag's not where he caught the right. ball though, so. Here's the call. Illegal block at the back. Number 18. Return team. 10-yard penalty from the spot foul. First up. Block in the back called on the Bulldogs. So that'll move them, obviously, back a little bit. And they will now have it at their own 30-yard line with 5.07 to go here in the second quarter. Coming up at halftime, we'll have an interview with Concordia Volleyball coach Ben Bolt as their team is taking on Midland on the road in the GPAC quarterfinals. They win, they move on, they lose, and we'll see about a national tournament berth, but it's a big game coming up for the Concordia Bulldog Volleyball team at Midland for 
the GPAC quarterfinals. It starts at 7 p.m. right here on 104.9 Max Country. We'll talk to Coach Bolt at halftime leading up to that game. First down at 10, Concordia. And a throw in the flat to Jonah Wyan, sniped out perfectly by Doan as they will tackle Jonah on the catch about six yards behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah. I couldn't really tell if that was a backwards pass to Ross. No, I don't know if you saw that, but McGarvey really dropped back. Running through. back, it was a, a a screen they tried to set up. They faked the handoff, and he rolled out to the left or his left side and then threw it back to the right side where Jonah was waiting. But the like you said, they credit Doan defense for sniffing that out yep. right away, evading the blocks and uh, tackling him for a big loss. Now second down and long. They need a good gain here, and it's not going to happen because McGarvey is going to get sacked in the backfield. There, that was Krause again. He's got... I think seven tackles now on the season. He's been all over the place here in this game. The linebacker with 50 tackles for the Tigers. High tough, he's also been involved. But first down and 10 Bulldogs, or rather third down and 19 Bulldogs, beg your pardon. And McGarvey in the gun will try to get some yards here with Barron on the far side of the field, trying to get upfield and they don't get much. And so it'll be fourth down and 15. Bulldogs go backwards there on that drive and Doan forces another punt with 3.30 to go here in the first half. Yeah, wide receiver screen on the right side rather than taking a chance down the field. Get some more positive yardage. I think he gained about four or five yards there. Give Colmo some room to run here. He's been doing a pretty good job kicking the ball here. So let's see if he can get one past the receiver or returner here and limit limit the return on this uh, kick here. Okay, Wiseman back to return the punt. Cole Moose to boot it away. He's had a few line drive punts so far. This one's got a little more air on it. It'll take a bounce at the 50. Not a good Bulldog bounce as it pretty much goes back into their own territory here at the 48. Yeah, I think he tried to angle it away yeah. from him. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't put enough on it and just, just kind of just it just kind of died there on him and so didn't, don't, yeah. didn't quite get that 25 yard punt that credit maybe a 23 yard punt is all from that one so need to do a better job of changing the field position and so uh first down and 10 down here at the 48 yard line for concordia tied up at seven apiece just under three minutes yep. so not don't have to go quick but and off here to win, and he gets forward for about a four yard gain on first down. That'll bring up second down and seven. Call it actually a gain of three. Second down and seven from the 45. And just know that Concordia doesn't have any timeouts the rest of the right. half, so had some personnel issues on a couple of plays. So they had to burn some timeouts to get out of their formation that they're in. Snap back here to the quarterback win on the carry and stopped at the line of scrimmage. 97 coming in on the stop for the Bulldogs. Evan Pauley as the freshman nose tackle from Edmond, Oklahoma. 6'1", 330. Big They're old. on the stop for the Bulldogs. Third down and eight. Yeah, I think he went back a yard. So big tackle for loss for him. Great job getting to the backfield. Martinez in the shotgun on third and eight. Inside two minutes to go in the quarter. Throw up the middle of the field, and it's caught. Therefore, first down to the 30. And Adam Wasserman there on the grab. Gain of about 14 or so. They're on third down. And Doan will keep the drive alive with just over 90 seconds to go in the first half. Yeah, they faked that uh, receiver screen and then just kind of had a lot of the receivers down the field. Snap back here to the quarterback, Martinez. Now throw to the near side of the field and the pass caught there by Wasserman. Once again, back-to-back -back catches for him. This time he'll pick up about nine yards to the 22. And Napier dragging him out of bounds. That'll bring up second down and one. And the clock stops while he runs out of bounds. Bulldogs getting backed up here. They need a good 
stop, maybe get a, a sack or something here. Doan again does have three timeouts, so they can use them. But try to get this team to go backwards here. But second down and one, they'll hand it off to Wynn. He'll run along the left side of the line and pick up the first down. Got about three yards on second and or yeah, second and one. That'll make it first down and ten from the 18. It's drive started at three minutes. For now, we're just right at the one minute mark here. So four wideouts to the left. Ball in the middle of the field. Martinez gets the snap under pressure. He gets out of the pocket. Throws downfield to throw out of bounds, actually. No, near the uh, near corner of the end zone. So second down and 10. Bulldogs had some good pressure there from the edge. That forced Martinez to get out of the pocket. And did that uh, fake, fake wide receiver screen and then uh, tried to get his receivers open downfield, but got flushed out of the pocket and had to throw the ball away to avoid the sack. All in the middle of the field, trips left. Win to the right of Martinez. Martinez gets the snap back to throw under pressure. Sacked in the backfield, Jordan Kavalak brings him down. Kavalak again, I think that's his second sack of the game. And that'll bring up a big third down and long. That's just what the Bulldogs needed. Get a sack that makes it a little longer field goal if you hold them here on, on what'll be a third down and 19 from the 27. Right now we're looking at about a 42 yard field goal if they don't get this. And the kicker, Jeremy Henning, 32 is his long on the year and he's three or four kicking field goals. So doesn't have that much experience uh, this season kicking field goals. We'll see what they end up doing, but big third down and 19 coming up here um, at their own 27. Dome called a timeout to preserve some time here. 45 seconds left on the half. So look for them to, they need the, what, seven yard line, eight yard line? Yeah. Call it, need to, need to get to the seven to get to convert the first down. So they're probably not thinking about the first down here. They're probably thinking, let's, let's get the ball. Once again, coming up at halftime, we'll talk to Concordia volleyball coach Ben Bolt who joined us actually from the state volleyball tournament that was going on in Lincoln this week. He's doing some volleyball watching, volleyball recruiting there. And they will be playing Midland tonight at 7 p.m. for the GPAC quarterfinal matchup. Right here on 104.9 Max Country, Frank Green will have the call from Fremont this evening. Third down and 19, 45 seconds to go out of the timeout. Doan has it, and they'll hand it off here on third down. Maybe just trying to get some good field position. It's Wynn getting the handoff up the middle of the field. We'll get to the 24. And yeah, coming up now fourth down. They might as well just let the clock run all the way down and, and try to do one more play into the end zone. I mean, fourth down. Rarely ever do you see happens. this, the, sh the play clock and the the time clock perfectly or, synced huh? yes yeah it's never see that very often but though like you said they'll Look let it run down to two or three seconds and call their second timeout and i would imagine try a field goal here or they can try some shots to the end zone but timeout here will be called by doan and we'll keep the last one right here as well so yeah what are we looking at now 20 or 40 yard field goal about you're you're on the 24 39 back, 40 back, yards back it up seven to hold right mm -hmm. so that's what the 31 add 10 for the end zone so 41 yard 41 kick. yeah and the long for jeremy henning is 32 yards again he's three of four kicking field goals so the ball will be at the left hash mark He'll be probably set up on the 31 here. Let's yeah. see where he lines up, actually. Yep. Kick it away from the 31. Three seconds to go in the first half. Actually, we have that wrong. Uh, is actually 42 kicking it away for Doan. Either Caden Tease, I think that might be Caden Tease from Osceola. Number 42, regardless, will kick it up and it misses to the right. 
So the kick is no good, and the Concordia Bulldogs will go into the locker room tied up with the Doan Tigers, seven apiece as we've hit halftime here at Bulldog Stadium. And they get the ball coming out the second half, so hopefully they can make some good adjustments and come back out and uh, go from there. By the way, we got a heck of a game going on in Northwestern. Morningside, 8-0. Northwestern, 9-0. 26-24 at halftime uh, for that battle of the top two teams in the GPAC. The second-ranked team in the country, the Northwestern College Raiders and the three-seed Morningside Mustangs. Northwestern uh, with a two-point lead at halftime at home. Concordia and Doan, two teams up in the top half of the GPAC rankings. The Bulldogs tied for third with Dort. Both teams are five and three overall. Dort, the 20th ranked team in the country. Concordia, uh, not ranked, but five and three. They've won their last four. Depending how this season can end, the Bulldogs could finish with a solo third place ranking in the conference. So the Bulldogs begin with the football and the first play of the second half is a fumble. And it looks like Doan got the recovery. <clears throat> DJ McGarvey tried to run an option to the right side, was popped and fumbled it. And it will be Doan football here at the 30. Yeah, he just ran the, like you said, option to the right side. Made the decision to keep the ball, which I think was the right decision, but just right. needs to do a better job of protecting it. And I don't know if he was trying to reach for more yardage or what happened, but he lost the ball, unfortunately, for Concordia. But yep. defense needs to step up and make some plays here. Just like that, Tigers have it first down and 10. Win going to run it along the right side. It's past one shoelace tackle, and we'll pick up about two or three on the play. Second down and about seven. Yeah, just we can keep his gains to two or three yards every exactly. time. That'll be a good job for the O line, D line to kind of step up and fill him up. And yeah, he averages about 5.8, almost six yards a carry for as he win. I don't think he's getting quite that number today. Second down and seven. Well, with his big long run of 41, he yeah. was at 5.4. That's so. right. That's probably, yep. Yeah. And he's going to get a carry again. That'll get him maybe two yards on second and seven. So now third down and four coming up from the 24. And a big third down play coming up here for the Bulldogs. Doan was three for nine in that first half on third down. With Martinez in the shotgun, two wide receivers to the left, one to the near side. Middle in the middle of the field and he'll throw it to a guy who wasn't even looking incomplete. I think that was his tight end. There, when he threw it, the tight end was still going out for his route. 48-8 um, and eight Fox there on the, uh, as the intended receiver. And again, his back turn. So incomplete, now it's fourth down. And I believe the Tigers will be back to kick field goal here. And this one will call from about 41, the same distance as they just kicked it right before the halftime break. Kick is underway. It is up. And it sails through the uprights. So points off a of turnovers for yeah. Doan. So, you know, that's a, a big, good field position for them. They took advantage of that. Good job for the defense of only keeping it to the to the, to the three points rather than the seven points. So we need to answer back now and then put some more points on the board on our side. I'm trying to figure out if this is uh, number 42. Quayle Kendall or Caden Teese for Doan, number 42 kicking field goals. They have uh, Jeremy Henning, number 28, their normal field goal kicker, who is 12 for 14 on the year kicking field goals, or kicking extra points, three for four field goals. Uh, but that one good by Doan's number 42 through the uprights from about 41 yards, and that is a long on the season for the Tigers. Their previous long was 32 yards. And again, that gives them a 10 to nothing lead. 13-40 left to go here in the opening quarter, or rather the third quarter. Concordia is going to get the football back. And back to return the kick, Isaiah Connor and Corel Colmus. So 
So we need to have a short memory. Yeah. I quote Ted Lasso and say we need to be like goldfish. <laughs> yes, yes. And just have that 10-second memory and... Touch back into the end zone, so the Bulldogs will take it here at the 25. That's an awesome show, by the way, Ted Lasso. One of my favorite shows. What was he, a former Wichita State football coach <laughs> turned uh, Premier League soccer coach? It's got a really good storyline, too. Yeah. I just, I haven't, I haven't been watching it right now, yeah. so don't spoil. No, okay, I won't, I won't, so. no. I'm still I on think the, I think that was just the start, the setup of the of the, the whole premise. Yeah, I got of Wichita to. State football coach going to coach Premier League soccer. All right. Here we go. First down and 10 Bulldogs with Jonah Wyand on the carry, running right side of the line. He'll get wrapped up for a loss of a couple. Mason Krause again coming in on the stop for Doan. Call it a one-yard loss. Yeah. So it all starts up front here with the O line, the big, the big, the big hogs up front need to kind of light a fire in their belly and just kind of start moving the line of scrimmage here. So make some adjustments and move the ball. So oh, now ball. another handoff. Wyand yeah, does have a hole and he'll pick up Jeepers. about 11 or 12. Sim actually maybe closer to 14 on the play from the 24 yard line out here to the 43, or rather 30. Eight yard line. Going quick here. So yeah, we'll give it 14 yards. Bulldogs work quickly. Another handoff Wyand to the right side. Gets past the line of scrimmage here to about the 42. Pick up a four there. It'll be second down and six. Good good gain on first down. Second and medium now. Going quick again. Shotgun for McGarvey. Two receivers on each side. Tight ends on the line of scrimmage. One of those is Devontae Mouton on the left side, and Garrett Sharton over there on the right side of the line. Shotgun from McGarvey, he's back to throw it. Quick throw, he's got Art Anderson out there on second down and seven. He gets to the 45 and will pick up three. Now third down and short. Quick pass out there, third and, third and four here, third and five. Big third down conversion here for Concordia's offense. Snap back to McGarvey on third down. Pass incomplete intended for Devante Mouton. Lined up in the slot spot. Would have been his fifth catch of the year, but it's incomplete. Dropped again, fourth down, Bulldogs. Those are the type of plays you need to step up and make yep. when the, your number's called. So that was very much a catchable ball. So. We need to do a better job of keeping the drive alive. And, uh, you know, that would have been a big third down catch, new set of downs, just the type of things you need to keep the, keep the drive going. So Cole moves back to punt. Punt bounces here at the 30. Going inside the 20, now to the 15, to the 12, and at about the 12-yard line. Good punt there by Cole Moose from the 44 in Bulldog territory down to the 12 in Doan territory. First down and 10 Tigers, and they'll have it there. Defense comes back out. Doan leading 10 to seven with 11.44 left to go in the third quarter. Defense has forced one interception today. Doan's also forced one fumble on the Bulldogs. The one interception by Concordia was by their senior linebacker, Lane Napier. LJ Butler will get the first carry here of this series for the Tigers. He'll run along the left side of the line, bounce outside the line of scrimmage and get to about the 27. Napier on the stop. Here to the, so a gain of five. Now coming up at his second down and five. I did, a, did a good job of bouncing outside and get, getting to the outside, make, getting some positive yardage, but Concordia needs to do a better job of up front and plugging some holes. Shotgun here for Martinez. Another handoff, Butler running left side of the line, getting toward the numbers on the far side and pushed out of bounds by a Bulldog. I think enough for the first down though. Yeah, he'll pick up six. Just what he needed. 
And now first down and 10, Tigers at the 24. Yeah, pretty much same exact play. Bounced it out the outside, was able to get some positive yardage, take him all the way to the sideline and for the first down. <clears throat> first and 10. Hand off again, Butler. Get it for another time. This time running along the left side of the line. Get two. And second down and eight. Or second down and seven. Maybe a yard farther than we thought. Cavalock. And on the stop for the Bulldog defensive line. Clock rolling, 10-15 to go in the third quarter. Two wideouts now on the right side, a lone wide receiver to the left. Doan is working left to right as we see it here at Bulldog Stadium. And off Butler, fourth straight carry for him. Now running up the middle of the field and will pick up about seven yards on second down and six, and another first down as he dives forward here at the 35-yard line. Yeah, LJ Butler being a workhorse right now, doing about, averaging about five to six yards per carry on his last four carries, moving the, getting the two first downs for him. So now first down and 10. All on the far hash mark. And the hand, nope, fake handoff. They'll throw this one in the flat screen set up here for Adam Wasserman. He makes the grab and will dive forward from the far side of the field. Get to the 44 or so. So, or got, sorry, to the 39 or so. Nope, 37, got that wrong again. Second down and eight. Credit Gain Isaiah two on the Connor pass. on that yeah. play for getting past his block and slowing up the receiver, but uh, I think uh, Shane Campbell will get credit for the yeah. tackle on that one as well. But Isaiah Connor did a great job of causing some chaos on that one. And off Butler getting the load of the carries here to begin the second half for Doan. This time he'll get stopped after a gain of a yard. Guess, guess who? On the stop for the Bulldogs. Let's all start saying guess who? Lane Napier. It's got to be up to 10, I think, now on the day. Or maybe nine. Get six going into that first half. Third down and six coming up for the Bulldog defense. Doan at their own 39-yard line. Need the 45. Yep. Two receivers on the right, one on the left. Martinez in the shotgun. Back to throw. Holding in the pocket, now he'll bounce outside, near side. Under pressure by Peyton Stevens, and he throws downfield, and it is caught right at the first down sticks. Forward progress is yeah. gonna get him. Wasserman on the grab. Nope. Nate Fox actually on the catch. Creasel on the stop for the Bulldogs, but enough for the first down. They get eight or so, and they needed seven. I'm not sure who made the hit on the quarterback, but he definitely paid the price for that pass. He, he's, uh, he's definitely feeling that right now. That was number nine, Peyton Stevens. He came in there on the, on the rush. That forced Martinez outside the pocket. First down and 10 for the 46. Now Butler again on the carry, shaking off some tackles. Butler still on his feet, running far side of the field past the 30, 25, and he's shoved out of bounds. Great gain on the play. Doan players are fired up there on the far side. As a good run there by L.J. Butler gets Doan inside Bulldog territory here to the 25-yard line. It's a run of about 20, almost 30 yards. Yeah, uh, L.J. Butler did a great job of a tough run there. Probably broke three or four tackles. I think Logan Creetzel had him wrapped up in the backfield, but was able to keep the ball and feet moving for a big, big game. And off right side is going to be stopped. Now the Bulldogs bring in a new set of defensive linemen in. See three guys just coming into the game, 92, 96, 57. Eric Kuyper, Devin Pauley, and Jaden Brocious now on the defensive line for the Bulldogs. They send out their three other linemen. Second down and six from the 22. Shotgun for Martinez and a handoff win back in the game. He's going to run along, run along the right side and will pick up a yard. Beg your pardon, it was second and nine. So now he picks up a yard. That'll make it third down and eight for Doan. 
Another another big third down here for the for the Concordia defense. Caught the what thir they need to 13, fourth down yep. markers at the 14. In that area. Third down and eight. Big one here for the Bulldogs. It'll be a pistol set for Martinez. Two to the left, one to the right, with Wynn in the backfield. Snap back to the quarterback, and he'll hand it off. Frazzy Wynn running left side of the line. Interesting play call with the handoff. Bulldogs sniffed it out, and it'll be a loss of a yard, and maybe no gains. Carson Stoffer on the stop for the Bulldogs, and that brings up fourth down. Now they're here to kick the field goal. Another field goal. Yeah. But good job on the, the DN on the outside, making him having to cut back inside where all of his defenders were. So teammates were there to make the tackles for no gain. A 39-yard field goal. Now for Tice and Doan. He made the last one. This one is up in the air, and it splits the uprights. So 39 yards. They they're, Before this game, their season long was 32 yards kicking field goals. And now they've made a 41-yarder and a 39-yarder. And Doan has a 13-7 lead with 5.05 to go in the third quarter. We'll be right back. yard field goal made just a moment ago to make the score 13 to 7 Tigers over the Concordia Bulldogs here on senior day in Seward Nebraska Doan will kick this one off to the Bulldogs Bulldogs working right to left here at Bulldog Stadium or from the north end zone to the south end zone kick underway it's Cole Moose grabbing it in the end zone now he'll run it right up the middle of the field past the 15 and still on his feet, bounces off tackles, now running far side of the field. Cole Moose will get to the 30 and out of bounds at about the 32-yard line. So a kickoff return there by Carell Cole Moose of 32 yards and the Bulldogs flag down. The Bulldogs will take things over here right there, but we'll see what this flag is all about. Return team, number 20, 10-year pounder. First up. Holding on the return team is the call. And so that'll negate about a 30-yard kickoff return by Cole Moose. And they'll move back here to the 15-yard line. So first down and 10 Bulldogs. McGarvey and the offense back out there. Caden Barron, the receiver to the near side. Mouton sent in motion. Now he's on the left side of the line with Art Anderson on the right. Ball in the right hash mark. McGarvey gets the snap. And a handoff here to Jonah Wyatt. He has a hole, gets through it, and to about the 20 yard line, gain of five there on first down and 10. And, off number 25, and it'll be second down and five. Going quick here again. Five five. Nice five yard carry for Jonah. I like the up tempo offense. They've been running that a lot here in the second half of this season. Now Wyatt's going to get a pickup again of about seven yards. This is enough for the first down. Here to the 32-yard line. Yeah. Move the chains. Move the chains and going quick here. Lion again, this time wrapped up in the backfield. Got the handoff there. Bradley Hightoff, I think, is going to get the credit for a tackle for loss. If so, he's nearing 20 tackles for loss on the season for Doan. And loss of two, second down and 12. Jonah taking a breather after that two-yard loss. And Ziegler out there, on the right side of McGarvey, who's in the shotgun. Garvey throwing, rolling right in the pocket. And throws over his intended receivers incomplete. Cole Moose, I think, was his guy there, about four or five yards beyond the line of, or beyond the first down line. 
over his head incomplete. That'll bring up a third down and 12 for the Bulldogs. They'll need the they'll need their own 43 for the first down. Yeah, a lot of contact, but not a not enough to call a pass interference though. But regardless, we incomplete pass. Snap back to McGarvey on third and long. He gets forced out of the pocket, rolling near side. He'll have to launch a throw out of bounds. And that'll be fourth down and 12. Concordia will go back to punt. 13 to seven. Tigers leading the Bulldogs. You're in this rivalry game. Doan's defense has started to clamp down here as of late. So Concordia back to punt again. Cole Moose will boot it away. Uh, credit the big guys up front for doing their job, but we need to do a better job of hitting that second layer level on the on running the ball. Cole Moose with another line drive punt takes a bounce to the 40. And so a punt there of about 35 yards by Carell Cole Moose, which is right near his average of 36 yards. And that is where Doan will take it over, first down and 10. They had a 39-yard field goal to end their last drive. That made it a 13-7 score, and we've got three and a half minutes left to go in the third quarter. Martinez in the shotgun. With Wynn to his right, you have two wide receivers on each side as well. Now he's going to send one of them out in motion and that one he sends in motion he pitches to now he's running from the far side to the near side toward the concordia out of bounds line will get forced out of bounds some jawing there at the end of the play man who got the carry there for doan was number 23 the wide receiver jeremiah Payne, and he's going to pick up about four yards on the pitch second down and six Still a manageable second and medium here, so need to do a good job of maybe getting a loss here. Or a, maybe a turnover and interception would be nice. Be nice. Do a pick six or a scoop and score maybe. Just looking at these two teams on offense, 223 yards now total for Doan, 159 for Concordia. Doan 133 yards through the air, 90 yards on the ground. Concordia 94 on the ground, 65 through the air. Pass here on second down. To the far side of the field, right there was uh, and Cam Baker there on the coverage. Wasserman, the intended receiver, incomplete. And that'll bring up third down and six. Doan four of 13 today on third down. LJ Butler, the running back now in the backfield. Three receivers to the left of Martinez, who is in the shotgun. One receiver to the near side. And back to throw is Martinez, and that's going to be a sack for the Bulldogs. 98 coming in there on the sack, Jordan Kabalak. I think that's his second one of the game, maybe third one of the game. I got to check the stats here, but Jordan Kabalak. Now it's fourth down and long, and Doan will punt it. Big play on third down, call it a covered sack. Good yep. job of, you know, Going, getting after the quarterback and, and taking him down for the loss. So Doan will punt. Carson Kaur back to return it. Going right with the sun. He's got to look up in the sun when he grabs it. So he's just going to back up. Now he's got to get out of the way. That's a great punt for Doan. Inside the five, still rolling to about the two and a half yard line. Carson Core, you can see him wanting to maybe fair catch that punt, but it's just hard. You're looking right up into the heart of the sun. Maybe that was the factor there, so the Bulldogs will have it inside the five. No, wait, I have that wrong. First contact, maybe? Maybe it was, yeah. Did they touch it? Doan must have touched it here at about the 16, but the ball rolled inside the five. So the a little, yard line, yeah, yeah. a little bit of a break there for Concordia. They're actually going to have it at the 16. So first down and 10. Two wide receivers on each side with Wyand in the backfield. Wyand will get a carry here on first down and 10 and get met on his first touch about a yard beyond the line of scrimmage. Second down and nine. 
need a big drive here. Yep. Big play, big drive. Let's put some points on the board on this drive. Wyand up to 18 carries for, or 19 carries for 92 yards. Averaging about 4.8 yards per rush. His long today is 17 yards, and that was that one touchdown that he had. The lone touchdown for the Bulldogs. Snap back to McGarvey. Wyand right there with him. Fake handoff to him. He's going to throw up the middle of the field to the tight end, Shard. To the right hash mark, and it's incomplete. McGarvey now 9 of 20 on the day. Not having one of his better days for the true freshman quarterback season. No touchdowns, no interceptions. He does have one fumble. But... Second down, or rather third down and nine coming up here. Now two receivers lined up on each side. It's like Cole Moose and Shart, the receivers in the slot. Now he sends Wyand out in motion. He's going to throw up the middle of the field to Shart. Good coverage there by number two for the Dome defense, Demond Brown. There, I think, batted the ball away as Shart was just about to catch it. Would have been an easy pickup for the first down. Instead, it's incomplete. The Bulldogs have to punt again. Um, I'm going to... That was a catchable ball, but yeah. I, want, I want to say there was some contact made before mm. the catch, so that was going to be a hard ball to catch, but, uh, you know, Shard did a, did the best he could, yeah. but the, that could have gone either way, but unfortunately, there was no call on the pass interference. 13-7. to seven is the score with 56 seconds to go in the third quarter and Concordia trailing, they'll punt it again. This time Colmus angles a punt to the near sideline and the official still running up. They'll mark it at about the 42, 41 yard line. And that is where Doan will take over. Not his best punt of the day, no. but uh, we need to do a better job of uh, on offense, moving the ball and changing the field right. position here. 54 seconds left in the third quarter, so we need to, not the quarter we wanted to have, but we need to uh, step up defensively and start doing some things offensively. Don't has it first down and 10 at the 42. And Win will get the carry, running to the left side of the line. And he'll pick up three on the play. To the 40, it'll be second down and seven. Yeah, dive to the right side, cut it back to, like you, like you said, the left side, and kept into the average about the two to three yards yep. that he's been doing outside of that one long run he had, that 41 early in the second quarter. Clock rolling inside now, 30 seconds. Could to go the in the third quarter, could last. see one final play. As Martinez gets the snap. Win another carry right side of the line. Now gets up field close to the first down line. He'll be about three yards short. So a gain of about five there for Frazy Win, And that will lead us right into the th fourth quarter. Senior day at Bulldog Stadium. Parker Sizer, Ross Wardeman back with you from Bulldog Stadium. Third down and three in Concordia. will get a stop here at the 35. They handed that one off to Win. And he got nothing, maybe a loss of a yard. And so a fourth down and four coming up. From the 36, I think that was Cadron Cox, came in on the stop for the Bulldogs. He came, he was the first one that I saw out of the pile. Big play there on third down. And that brings up a fourth down, Ross. They've got the offense out here. They're probably going to let time run out on the play clock and call a timeout and think about it here. Yep. So Doan will punt. High punt way in the air. And it goes out of bounds. Caught. They're on the sideline. I think that's Wyatt Cast who caught that one there. Out of bounds, of course. And they will mark it. Let's see. Where, where's he at? I don't know where they're at. 25? Yep, 25 yard line. That's where Concordia will take it back over. All right, 14.09 to go. Bulldogs down by six. Not the punt they wanted. I no. think a net of like, what, 11 yards is all? Mm -hmm. But need to have some confidence back this next quarter here for DJ and just do some the little things right. 
9 of 21 here in this game. Throwing up the middle of the field. Pass dropped by Cole Moose. Incomplete. That one was a little behind him. Cole Moose was running a slant route middle of the field. Had to kind of stop, turn around, and try to grab the ball. It hit the ground. Incomplete second down and 10. Yeah, DJ needs to get back in sync with his receivers, but doing a good job of getting the ball there to him just a, like a step or two behind him. And credit Cole Moose for trying to throttle down and make the catch, but just couldn't quite slow down enough to make that grab. Wyan the running back to DJ's left and a handoff here to Jonah Wyan. Moving around the left side of the line. Right there, Hightoff making the push as Wyand will pick up a yard. And second down, when they make that third down and eight coming up after the one yard gain from Wyand. Yeah, give him two yards on that carry and then yeah, third and eight on that. Need to, need to get to the 35 for the first down, so big play here for the offense to kind of keep the keep the drive alive. Five wide outs with Wyand lined up far on the left side. They're going to throw it up the middle of the field. Garrett Sharp with the catch. One move. He now is getting to the outside. Garrett Sharp what a play down to the 30-yard line. That's huge when you can get tight ends that can make moves, juke around, get upfield, and, and get yards after the catch. And that's what Garrett Sharp did on that play. The yeah. leading yards receiver for the Bulldogs this year. That's what you need every, every play out of him. Need a receiver to step up and make plays like that. Bulldogs working quickly. McCarvey again. Garrett Shard, almost a similar play. And then he gets tackled only after a gain of nine yards. And that was uh, that wasn't enough. He kind of slammed his fist in the turf there, but still a good gain. Enough for the first down. In fact, gain of 10. First down and 10. Bulldogs driving now near the red zone. Again, a throw. Garrett Shard. Three straight catches for the tight end as he gets here to the 15-yard line. Bulldogs working here inside the red zone. They are one for one when they've been in the red zone today. Keep feeding the tight end, I guess, if you have them, right? Yeah, just if you find something that's working, then it's three straight plays, three straight catches. So, hey, if it's if not broke, don't fix it, right? Nope. Nope. You got Anderson now lined up far to the left, Barron far to the right. Wyatt. And a, in the slot to the near side, and DJ is going to go back to the throw. Now we'll keep it, run up the middle of the field, and I think he picked up the first down on second too, and yeah. four. Now it'll be first down and goal. Bulldogs with 12.15 to go in the fourth quarter, down by six to the Dome Tigers. First and goal from the nine. Yep. Caden Barron, Art Anderson will check out of this play. Also, Cole Moose out, so the Bulldogs will go heavy, I think, with a run here. They got want to say probably three tight ends here in the game. Yeah. And now Cole moves back out onto the field. So they add that one wide receiver. He's going to head over to the left side far. Four in the backfield. See what they do on this play. Kind of lined up. They hand it off to Wyand. He'll get stopped. No gain on the play. Maybe lost half a yard. Yeah. Or call it a no gain. So now the Bulldogs look toward the sidelines. We'll get play number two here on this second down and goal. Making some more personnel changes. Caden Barron will come back in. Still got 20 seconds on the play clock. Yep. Now down to 15. Bulldogs still not set yet. Don't want to burn a timeout here, I wouldn't think, but we'll see. Now nine on the play clock. McGarvey gets set. In the pistol with Wyand in the backfield. They do get the handoff in time. It goes to Wyand, and he'll get here to the six or seven yard line and pick up two. Now a third down and goal coming up. So they run it twice there on first and second and goal. Get closer, but you got a third down and six coming up here from the goal line or from the five yard line. Uh, call it maybe the seven, maybe. Yeah, yeah you're right. Third and seven, big play here. Five wideouts as well. You want six points here, not set or not three. Yep. McGarvey, middle of the field, Shart would hit hard as he was about to catch it. It's going to fall incomplete. Intended again for the tight end. So now fourth and five. And what do the Bulldogs elect to do here? I don't know. You take four points. I mean, you could still win it with a touchdown. Even if you kick a field goal here, you're, you're, 
You're down three. What do they do? Uh, it looks like they're going to go for it. Fourth down and seven. DJ McGarvey and the Bulldog offense staying out on the field. This is a big play in this game. Score with Tyatt up at 13. And an extra point would give the Bulldogs a lead with 10-24 to go in this game. Trips to the left side, forward to the left side. He throws it to the lone guy on the near side. Caden Barron, what a grab! Touchdown, Bulldogs! Yeah, just a, a great fake comeback route on the outside. Just a great catch, great pass. Good gutsy call by coach. Yeah. But hey, have faith in your, your quarterback and receiver. Call it the play of the game right now. Yeah. He left. It was Caden Barron and his man, his uh, the cornerback, right with him, one on one. DJ threw it in the right spot for Barron to come back and get it, where only Caden Barron could grab it. In for the touchdown. Now Cantu to give the Bulldogs the lead. It's off the field goal post. Doink. And it'll stay tied. Oh. Here with 10.21 to go. Big doink. So 13 all, 10.21 to go in this game. It'll be Doan football next here on 104.9 Max Country and the Concordia Sports Network. Probasco Partners, located in Grand yeah. Island, empowers people to experience the joy and inherent blessings associated with giving and inspire, counsel, and equip them to fulfill their role in helping them accomplish great commission. Probasco Partners wishes Concordia athletes a safe and fun season. Go Bulldogs! Hampton Enterprises on 3400 Plantation Drive in Lincoln strives to give their clients the best treatment, whether it's in commercial construction, real estate development, and leasing and property and management. Check out their website at hampton1.com. Hampton Enterprises. Property and construction. Daniel Cantu had been 19 of 20 on the season. Extra point uh, on extra points. That time he misses though and will go to 19 for 21 on the year. That ties up the game at 13. Six points from the Bulldogs after a seven-yard touchdown pass from DJ McGarvey to Caden Barron. It was Caden Barron's seventh touchdown of the year for the 6'3", 180-pound junior from Hutto, Texas. DJ McGarvey's 18th touchdown throw of the season. And now here's a kickoff return by Doan that'll get out to about the 35-yard line. Got a flag there on the 20-yard line. That was Wiseman on the return, the native of Sutton, Nebraska. A block in the back, maybe. See what the official will call. And yeah, we didn't get an audio there, but it's on Doan, so that'll push them back. Back to the 10 yard yeah. line. Spot foul. Block in the back, I believe. That's what I yep, saw. Yep. So they'll lose about 25 yards. I mean, they had it down to the 35. They'll lose about 25 after that block in the back call. Big play. There for Concordia on that Doan penalty. First down and 10 with Martinez in the shotgun. Snap back to him and we'll hand this one off to Wynn. Wynn will run up the middle of the field and get to about the 15, so he'll gain five there on first down and 10. And who else there on the stop for the Bulldogs but Lane Napier. Five-yard gain again, second down and five. And keep those gains about two or three yards. Shotgun again here for Martinez in the Doan offense. And they're going to run along the right side. This is Wynn again on the carry. He'll pick up about six, enough for the first down to the 21. Nine and a half to go here in the game. If you're just joining us, 13 all, Concordia and Doan here in Bulldog Stadium in Seward, Nebraska. Concordia just had a touchdown on their last drive on a fourth down and goal play from the seven yard line. A throw to the near side to Caden Barron, his seventh touchdown of the year. DJ McGarvey, the true freshman quarterback, just picked up his 18th touchdown as well. 
So third down picked off Jorge Ochoa intercepts it into the end zone. Pick six, Bulldogs. Right to Jorge Ochoa. He gets into the end zone. There's an injured Tiger on the play. That's Martinez. The quarterback slow to get up. Jorge Ochoa, first interception. You ever hear they had one earlier in the game? He dropped one. That could have went in for six. Yeah. He gets another chance, and he picks it off, and it goes in. The great things happens when you use both hands yeah. and not try to catch it with <laughs> yeah. one hand. There you go. Great, great job. This is exactly what Concordia needed, taking advantage of the mistakes. We talked about it all year long. Pick six, scoop and score. Able to get in the end zone for the, the touchdown here. Remember, Cajun Cox had a big one against Mount Marty a few weeks ago. Now, Jorge Ochoa with the interception return for the touchdown. Daniel Cantu will make that extra point, giving the Bulldogs a 20 to 13 lead with 9.03 to go in this game. We'll be back on Max Country and the Concordia Sports Network. Tonnage's anesthesia is a supporter yeah. of Concordia Athletics. Tonnage's oh, provides so Iowa. Jorge Ochoa, the 5'11", 200-pound senior with his first interception of the year. That one went into the end zone from about 20 or so yards out to give the Bulldogs a 20-13 to 13 lead. We've been talking about it here in the second half. Ross, I mean, the offense struggling a little bit here against this Doan defense. We kind of said here, we hinted at it. The defense needs to come up with a big play, and that's exactly what they did with Jorge Ochoa getting the pick six. Yeah, pressure. Good job. You know, credit the guys pressuring them up right. front to make that uh, to make that uh, bad decision on the pass. It looked kind of like a broken play. You got people d jumping and and diving and and threw the ball, and, and Jorge Ochoa was in the right spot, at the right time, and credit credit him yeah. for. Uh, <laughs> Jory Luther doing the kickoff duties. I think they're going to end up marking this. It was a squib kick here to one of the upmen on special teams. That's returned to about the 25, flag down at the uh, Bulldog 40-yard line, about where they kicked off the field. So not sure what this could be. Well, so we got maybe an offsides on mm -hmm. the kickoff team. And then so the up back is the one that received it but his, the deep back is the one that called for the fair catch. Yeah, yeah. And I believe on a kickoff, you can do that to avoid the running time off or, or, but he did come down with it, but he took off running with it. So that's the, that's the dilemma here on, they're trying to get a penalty. They're gonna, looks like they're gonna move it back five yards and re-kick it. Offside. So, yeah, offside on the kicking team. They'll just do it all over again. <clears throat> yeah, I won't. Uh, that's a Columbus boy, so we won't call out his mm -hmm. name on that. <laughs> I'll have to joke with him after the game. Yeah. So instead of the 35, they'll kick it off here from the 30. Don's kick returners move up a couple yards as well. Jory Luther does the kickoff duties for the Bulldogs. He's just been squibbing it each time. I can't imagine they won't do that again here. I'm trying to find the open area, I guess, and maybe just dump it in there. It's tough to tell which way the wind's blowing. I don't think it's hurting the Bulldogs at all on this kickoff. Well, the flag's kind of wrapped around yeah. the pole, so it's not really moving a whole right. lot. So. <clears throat> so Luther puts it on the tee, runs up to it, another squib. Fair caught here at the 33-yard line. Okay. And that is where Doan will take over. Pick six on the last possession for this offense. Martinez with his 
stop. Sixth interception of the year. And now, coming back out after 10. taking that big hit on that yeah. interception. He was slow to get up too. So, if we can get back after him again here. 9.03 to go. Plenty of time left in the game, yep. so just need the defense to come up with another good stop here. Trips to the right, ball in the middle of the field. One wide receiver on the near hash mark. He'll hand it off to Frazee Wynn going upfield. Bulldog defensive line there to make the stop after a gain of three, second down and about seven. Number 30, LJ Butler, ball carrier, Yeah, ran right up the middle, ran into his O-line, met the D-line there. Short gain for three yards. Keep those gains to two to three yards, we'll be okay. Getting trips to the right. Martinez in the gun. We'll throw this one in the flat, pass is caught. And still on his feet, that receiver, then finally goes down. You see the number over there, that Darnell Riley, 84. Yep. Riley with the grab. He'll pick up about seven, and that'll make it third down and three. Doan here at their own 45, needing about the 48, just past the 48 for the first down. Big play on third down here. Again, trips right. One long receiver to the near side. Wynn is going to get the carry of the Bulldog defense. Stuffs him right there. Interesting play call on third and three. Bulldogs sniffed out the run the whole way. Cajun Cox coming in on the stop. Big, big play here. Huge. Now what do you do if you're done? And sending the punt team back in. Uh, they kept yeah. the offense out there for a while. Now the punt team coming in. Just don't do anything stupid here on, uh, on, on the kick return here, punt return. Don't jump off sides. To the punter, kick is up. This is not a good one. It's gonna bounce horizontally at about the 41. And we'll get still here to, to, still here to about the 40. 35, beg your pardon, 35. So that's where Concordia takes over. Back out on offense. And really they could you could slam the door shut on this game. Of course, there might still be time left, but with six and then an extra point, could really close this game out. Up by seven with 7.08 to go in the fourth quarter. Concordia and Doan, the Bulldogs, looking for their fifth straight win. Snap back here to McGarvey, and a handoff to Wyatt, running along the right side. He just kind of trips up. After a gain of four, maybe three on the play, that'll bring up second down at seven here at the 38-yard line. Yeah, number seven kind of did a great job of tripping him up and the, right at the line of scrimmage, and he fell forward probably for a positive, I think, three yards. Call it second and seven. Riley Hightoff putting together a really nice season for the Tigers. Came into the game 59. Of course, he's a senior from Raymond, Nebraska. Pass down the middle for McGarvey. They want an interference as Sharp was held pretty well. No flag on the play. And instead of it being an automatic first down, it's third down and seven. Wow. You hear the crowd reaction. Let's turn that down before we get in trouble, maybe. I don't know. Third down and seven from the 38. You got a good crowd on hand. And yeah. They're going to let you know when you make yeah. a bad call. But yeah. Awesome crowd, too, here at Bulldog Stadium. They've been here the whole game as well. Five receivers here on third down for the Bulldogs. McGarvey throws it up the middle of the field to Art Anderson, but it's picked off by Doan here at their own 48. I don't know if McGarvey saw that corner coming in on the coverage. Is that number two, Demond Brown, I think, who picked that off? Ran off the field before I can get a number. Right. So, interception. Yeah, the Doan defense is very good at forcing interceptions. They have about 11 on the year. Three different guys have over three picks, including Brown, who, if that was him, just picked up his four. Well, I think we said we had, they had four last week, too, yeah. against the Midland team. But Well, they take over now near midfield. 
And Martinez in the gun will throw on the near side. And the pass caught there by Wasserman. He'll move upfield, running right along the Bulldogs' sideline on the near side and get out of bounds at the other 48. So they'll pick up about four there on the pass. And second down and six. Crazy win, the running back to the left here of the quarterback, Vaughn Martinez, the 6'1", 190-pound freshman quarterback for the Tigers. He'll throw in the flat again, setting up a screen. Pass caught there by Celestine. Celestine down the sideline. Flag comes in at the end of the play. It was enough for the first down on the screen setup, but we'll see what this flag is all about. I think you're going to get a hold on the number eight. Wasserman, perhaps. Called for holding. Officials getting together. Here is the call. Holding. Offense. Number eight. Holding on the offense. Number eight. You were perfect there on that call, Ross. That'll move Doan back 10 yards. Yeah. Wide receiver screen to the right side. It's kind of hard, you know, wide open. Everybody's seeing it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Kind of an easy call to make. I'm glad they saw it too. So move them back, redo the down. Second down and 15 now with five and a half to go in the game. Bulldogs up by six over Doan. Doan with the football. They'll throw in the flat here to win on second and long. And he's going to get pushed out of bounds. Isaiah Connor there on the coverage. Connor, the cornerback, coming in from the far side of the field to kind of get crazy out of bounds. Yeah, they had the quad, quad yeah. set to the right side, tried that receiver or receiver screen to the running back and and ended up losing three yards on that play. So going the wrong way. So big third down conversion here. They need the 42 yard line. Third of the forever. Yeah, third and 18. They're at the 40. And again, they'll need the Bulldog 42 for the first down. Great Martinez crowd. drops way back. Big drop step. Now he's forced out of the pocket. Stevens coming in on the rush. Fumble on the play. Stevens forces it. Bulldog football. 98 Kavula coming away with the recovery. Peyton Stevens, number nine, running down Martinez with the strip sack. Huge play. Yeah. And the edge rush there for the Bulldogs, led by Peyton Stevens, who came from behind as Martinez was rolling to the near side, could not see Stevens running behind him. Stevens then dove at the ball, it popped out, and the lineman Kavula comes in with a fumble recovery. Bulldogs have it back here at the 34. Snap here to McGarvey, and a handoff to Jonah Wyatt. He's running left side of the line. And Wyan will bounce forward past the 30 to the 30 or 29. Massive, massive defensive play. Credit the we'll crowd see. to get it into it, too. Yeah, man. that's going crazy. Got loud in here it for did, a second. It did. It very yeah. Getting into it, getting exciting here. We got a Doan Tiger injured on the field. And the athletic training staff will attend to him. Let's take a short break. We've got 430 left to go in this game. It is Concordia 20, Doan 13, with the Bulldogs having second down and six at the Doan 30-yard line when we come back here on 104.9 Max Country and the Concordia Sports Network. Defensive leader in interceptions, Dante Wiggins the third. They're injured on the play. Walks off the field under his own power. And now they are out of the break here. Injury timeout. Get 4.18 to go here in the game. Clock now rolling. 
as the teams get back out onto the field. Second down and six for the Bulldogs with Art Anderson, the receiver to the right. Garrett Sharp, the tight end and the wing to the near side. And then far side, Caden Barron lined up wide. Devontae Mouton also in the game. Jonah Lyon to the right of DJ McGarvey as he's in the shotgun. And they think they had Concordia move a little bit. Some Doan players jumped, but it might have been caused by the Bulldogs. Ball start on Concordia. That'll move him back five. Mouton there jumped a little bit from the tight end spot. That'll back him up. Now second down and about 11 from the 35. Clock rolling though, 3.45 to go in the game. Any sort of score would probably close this game out. McGarvey in the shotgun, now sending Barron in motion. McGarvey now will go back to the throw, back in the pocket, throwing deep downfield. Mouton, the intended receiver, it is incomplete. Two Tigers there on the coverage, including Demond Brown. And I also think, uh, it's just Brown over there on the coverage. One other guy was back there too, one of the safeties. Either way, incomplete. Now third down and long, Ross. Yeah, I mean, kind of threw that up for grabs. Right. Double team it. If, if, if uh, Devontae would have come down with that, it probably would have shocked about uh, the whole crowd out here and just would have been an unbelievable catch. But went about the third amazing catch that the Bulldogs would have had today. Right. So here we go, third down and long from the 35. They got four wide receivers on the right and a lone wide receiver to the left. Now he's looking at that lone wide receiver on the left side. That's Barron over there. He grabs it. Did he catch it though? Yeah, yeah out of bounds. He caught it, but it was out of bounds and he had a one-handed catch too. Uh, but did not get enough feet and bounds. Left hand catch. Yeah. I, he's, he's incredible, although he did not catch that incomplete. Fourth down and 11. He had a one handed catch earlier today. Almost had another one. So, fourth and 11, and the Bulldogs will punt up by seven here with 3.20 to go in the game. Ball on the 35. Getting interesting. Trying yep. to pooch it here inside the 20, yep. try to pin him inside the 10 here. Almost standing right at midfield to punt it away. And line drive punt. That is going to bounce into the end zone. Nearly down at the one. But it'll be a touchback and Doan football. Here with 3.13 to go. Most important drive of the game coming up here, Ross. Yeah, needed to kind of put some more air on yeah. that to kind of pooch that. Let your let your defenders run down the and uh, get down there to inside the five to inside the ten to kind of pin them deep. But unfortunately, he kicked it a little too low line drive, and it went in the end zone for the touchback. Vaughn Martinez, the quarterback for Doan, 15 of 25 for the game, 96 yards and two interceptions. They're going to hand it off. Here to the running back on the first play. And he's going to get nothing, maybe a yard or a half yard. So now second down and nine with Peyton Stevens, one of the seniors coming in on the stop for the Bulldogs. And just under three minutes now. So got to have a little sense of urgency here for the Doan Tigers. Three wide outs to the right, one to the left. Snap back here to Martinez. And now he's rolling left side. Throws downfield, passes caught by Celestine here at the 37. Gain of 16. They're on second down, and now Doan will move the chains. Trips to the right. Celestine, the lone receiver to the near side. They got a screen set up on the far side. Passes caught. Now working upfield is the receiver. Can't see the number yet. Cam Baker on the stop for the Bulldogs. I think that was Fox on the catch. No. Yep. Winners, 88 on the grab. Now another play. This time it goes near side, and that's Wasserman with the grab. Doan working quickly. We got two minutes to go. And a gain of three yards there on second and eight. That are second and maybe seven. That'll make it a third down and three here at the 45. Doan needs the 48 for the first down, and there's 145 to go in the game. The clock's running too here. Yeah. 
Cone throwing it short here. And they got a lot of time, but third down and three. Martinez in the shotgun. Back to throw up the middle of the field. The pass incomplete. Great coverage by Isaiah Connor to knock it loose. It was intended for Andre Norman. And again, Isaiah Connor coming up with the big pass breakup. Fourth big. down and three, and you got the ball game right here, Ross. Big, 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 big play by Isaiah Connor yeah. at the pass breakup there. Because that was the first down, would have kept the drive going. So yeah, play of the game right here. Crowd's getting into it. Love the atmosphere here. It is fourth down and three at the 45. Going in the shotgun. Three receivers to the left. He's going to throw it to Celestine. He makes the grab and it gets the first down by about three yards. So he'll pick up six to the 49. And they'll move the chains with 121. Here. Yeah, you do have a flag in the backfield. Or no, sorry, on the, on the near side, right near the Bulldogs sideline. Another holding on the receiver screen, maybe? Maybe. I didn't quite That's see it. Right but. in the area where all of those uh, receivers were. Right at about the 50-yard line. The number 50 on the yard line is where this flag is. And we'll get the call. Pass interference. Offense. Wow. Huge play. Huge penalty against Dome. And that'll move them back and make this fourth down a little bit longer. Yeah. Pass interference on the offense. I didn't know it'd be that. Maybe a hold or something. Well, if they yeah. ran that illegal right. pick play or something, or... So, 121 to go in the game. Bulldogs lead 20 to 13. It was tied up here in the fourth quarter until Jorge Ochoa picked off Von Martinez and Ochoa ran about 20 yards into the end zone. His first interception on the year was a pick six for the Bulldogs. And now a fourth down and about, where are we marking this at? Fourth and six, fourth and three? Well, no, they're gonna move it back to 15 okay. then. Yeah, that's oh, right. The they got yeah. Penalty was on this. this. Yeah, they hadn't, they hadn't moved it back yet. I was waiting for them to do that. So yeah, it'll be fourth and way long. Here at the 30. So, yeah, fourth and 18 coming up. Bulldogs send most of their guys back with 121 to go. This is the ball game. Bulldogs can pick up five wins in a row if they can get a stop here. Or Dome can get a win on the road at Concordia or continue this game. Here's some pressure on fourth and long. They throw it, passes caught, but way short of the first down. Concordia will take over at the 38. <laughs> and it's almost poetic that whoever made the last tackle of the game, Lane Napier. Yes. What a, what a way to end his career here at Bulldog yep. Stadium. Having a tackle on the last defensive play of the game. He was honored before the game, as were a little over a dozen more seniors on this Bulldog team. A lot of them have an opportunity to come back next year, but of course, that's up to them when they get to an offseason. They do have one game remaining next week at Hastings College, a team that is two and six on the year. Garvey gets the snap and a handoff here to Jonah Wyatt, who will run on the left side. Wyatt with one touchdown today. His second touchdown of the year he picked up went 17 yards into the end zone. And he's going to pick up about eight yards on that carry. And Doan will call a timeout. We'll take a short one as well. We've got 58 seconds left in this game. The Bulldogs are going to be able to run this clock out if they want. And we'll come back for the finish next on 104.9 Max.
14 to 13. Bulldogs lead 58 seconds to go. Second down and four. Doan has one timeout left. So the Bulldogs are going to be running a couple of more times here. Get the clock down. They're going to do it one more time. Maybe need to pick up a first down just to be safe, although I don't think Doan is, or time is on Doan's side. Lyon gets the carry on second and four. He might have just picked up the first down. He's going to be about a yard short, though. Very close to it. And Doan will call their final timeout of the game. And a third down and one coming up for Concordia. So I guess we can do some math here. Um... Third down and one. Doan's out of timeouts. So I guess the best case scenario is Doan gets a football back with like a second to go or something around that realm with a quick run. Um, but unlikely. Concordia may just be able to run out the clock. Well, if you run around for three seconds and yeah. then take a knee, then you can run it out. But my guess you just sneak yeah. it or run sneak it, do it another. First down, yeah another play like he just been running so just play it safe hold on to the ball yep don't want to do anything ill-advised some last minute advice from coach Daberko as he sends his offense about back out on the field first down would officially end the game but McGarvey will be under center here on third and one pushing the pile up the middle of the field I think he easily picked it up First down, Bulldogs. Yep, that will effectively end the game. Now a couple kneel downs for Concordia. Here on Senior Day, what a, what a day it was as the Bulldogs pick up, or will pick up their fifth straight win going back to October 2nd, their homecoming game against Dakota Wesleyan. Since then, they beat Jamestown on the road, Mount Marty on the road, Midland last week, and now Doan this week with one more game to go against Hastings College. <clears throat> Victory formation for the Bulldogs. McGarvey goes to one knee, and that'll do it. Final score is going to be 20 to 13. Concordia now six and three on the season. Doan drops to five and five, and the Bulldogs solidly in third place in the GPAC conference behind two undefeated top five teams in all of NAIA, Morningside and Northwestern. Game that's going on now in Morningside. But the final score here from Bulldog Stadium in Seward, Nebraska, 20 to 13. Concordia wins it. We'll be right back to wrap this one up next on Max Country.